acquisition of Justin McMillan, and where do you see him fitting in this year? Well, we're excited about him. Uh, it's always great to add a, an experienced quarterback to the mix, and he, he's been, you know, I hadn't played a whole lot of games, but he's been through a, a, you know, a Division One process, and he, he's really chomping at the bit. And, you know, obviously, you know, we're, we're playing a game Thursday, and it's difficult to get him ready this quickly, but, uh, you know, he's been putting in a bunch of time, I know that, and, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to when he, you know, digests, you know, a large uh, percentage of the playbook to see what he can do. But he's, he's impressed me some of the things he's been doing out there. But it's great to have another experienced quarterback. So we will see him in some games at some point, do you think? Oh, I would think so, yeah. You know, uh, you know just got to see how it all plays out. But, uh, you know, the, the one thing he and I talked about is, you know, we're going to give him an opportunity, but, you know, it's, it's going to be uh, – uh, how quickly he can learn and where everybody's at and those kind of different things and, and uh, he's uh, you know he's really really uh, putting in the time and effort to do it. I know that. How quickly do you feel like you could be at the point where you? I don't know. You know, it's uh, you know I'm I'm hoping a couple of weeks you know that he he pick up quite a bit of the playbook. We're trying to put it in in sections right now for him where you know he can you know this part of it he he can know and you know limited. Run a pass game, but a little bit of everything right now. And, and, uh, you know, he, he's a uh, you know, coach has said he picked up things quickly. So, a smart kid, obviously, a smart kid graduating three years. Really, game week, uh, just excitement going against Wake Forest. It's, it's right here. It just going through the summer, all the uh, the training camp there. Are you glad that you finally get to see him on, on the field against somebody else? Yeah, we're really all, uh, you know, they've got a great team, obviously. They, they, they uh, I'll be texting him in a bowl game at the end of the year. They got 10 of 11 starters back on offense, and I think six starters back on defense. The thing that's been uh, interesting is when you go over their depth chart, punt team, uh, I think they've got all 11 guys back. You know, when you go over the kickoff team, they got 10 guys back. So you know, there's a lot of a lot of carryover for us because that guy's probably going to be in that same spot. And oftentimes that's not the, the case, at least with the, the, the kicking game. So. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great, great uh, test for us, great challenge for us. It's, uh, it's exciting. Coach, knowing that you have a guy who, as you say, has been through the Division I process, how much more of a comfort factor is that for you and Doug to know that you have a guy like that in the wings getting ready? Well, you know, and, and again, I didn't know much about Justin you know, prior to all this. I didn't really get a chance to look at him until uh, you know, after he's already coming, you know, we was a little busy with preseason camp. But, uh, I think it's great. That, you know, the system in college is a lot different than the system in high school, and the attention to detail at the Division One level is a lot different than the attention to detail at high school. Just because so many coaches that you have, nobody's going both ways. They're spending more time at it, and uh, I think it comes from a great high school program. You know, we won two state championships. And, and, uh, Shoot, I'm guessing we played 15, 16 games. I had 16 games where, that you got to play in a state championship in Texas, something like that. So he's got a lot of experience. What do you do to learn about a quarterback when you haven't been able to see him play? Like, you didn't play at LSU, so how do you? Oh. Well, you know, I, I did. The one thing I did look at was on YouTube is um, the spring game. And I watched him play in the spring game, and, and uh, I went over to practice in the spring. And I, I went over looking at the quarterbacks back in the room. Working out. It was a day before the spring game, so they weren't doing too much. But tell a little bit just by, by looking at the guys, and then uh, and that's it. You know, we didn't pass. It didn't matter what he goes through with two wings. It's going to come. You end up here for the last. What was the reason you guys came here? You know, the, the, the Superdome actually got a hold of us and asked us if we'd come out and run around on the turf. And I guess this is new turf out here, right? Yeah, no, it is. We fooled a couple of our players. We told them that they should have mowed it a little bit. <laughs> A couple of guys went for it, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a great surface. Again, we're always lucky when, when uh, you know, the Saints, I'm sure that's something to do with it as well. But Superdome people invited us to come out. And, you know, I thought it would be something neat to do. We'll be out here again. I don't think so. We're going to just try to stay outside and beat our course the next uh, three days. When you're able to attract a player like that from a school like that, um, what does that say? Do you think that, that kind of helps you in the you know, ongoing perception thing that have a guy like that on your roster? Oh, I think it does. I think a big part of it is obviously win. You know, we've talked about that before. But I think uh, 
Uh, you, you know, when you, when you get guys in like this from these kind of programs, the quarterback is a little unique position. And, and uh, you know, you only play with one of them. You know, you get an offensive line transfer, and you know, maybe he's the right tackle, and you got a great right tackle. You can move him to left tackle, or left guard, or right guard. Same thing with a corner. You can maybe even play him at safety. But the quarterback position is a lot different, and, you know, and guys have got a certain amount of time left, and, and that's why you see uh, a lot more quarterbacks that, that uh, transfer than you do other positions because there's only one of them.